Yeah, my dear friends. So, as a part of TCS training, so let's start the questions in today's session. This is the first one. Here, if you see, this is unfolded dice question. Fine, we have six sides, but one side that parts are given. Okay, that one side, okay, is divided into four parts. That one one part is in one one side. One one side. See, this is what we have one side of that. This is okay. One of the side that's divided into four parts. Each one at one corner, right? Now here they given the options. Okay, which when you fold this one, okay, then which among the options is correct? Okay, one, two, three, four among which which is possible, and they given options here as well, right? Now if you just see, yeah, full black shape won't form. Even this is joined. Okay, we have two parts which is empty, two parts which is nothing but shaded with black, right? So we don't get full part. black so we can say okay this part will be shaded black and this part will be shaded black and two parts will be empty if this parts are joined together also we don't get all together in one okay that square is not possible and next one this is not possible this is all comes into one box only we have see we have four slots total six boxes right three empty boxes one dot box is there three empty one dot here one two three right so and we have four in fact four empty boxes one dot box and one box is like this where half of that is black shaded half of that is uh, white okay now if you see this is not separately available one is not possible so this three possible yes we can see when you have three adjacent okay uh, this empty boxes joining see this l shape whenever you see this l shape like this okay three empty boxes or any other also that can be formed and this all three empty also possible so what about this one sir yeah you have white dot here yeah, dot ones empty box one this one this is also possible if you fold two and three possible One and four not possible, so we have to go with option C. Option C, all right. So see this question. We have couple of questions in the similar manner to get the idea how to handle this empty box related. When it is all numbers A B C D E F R one two three four five, every box is filled with certain symbol or number. It's easy we handle. But now it's if it is empty, how to handle that is the discussion, right? Now see the next one. Choose the box which is similar to the box found over from the given sheet of okay. When you fold it, which will be form, which will form right. Now listen. Here one thing like yeah, this we have these two are opposite. We have an idea right. So one square box, one dot box in circle in between. Square with circle in between is opposite, and two empty boxes are opposite, and these two are opposite. square box with half of that filled these two are opposite right now clearly fourth one not possible clearly fourth one not possible because these two are opposite these two opposite means fourth one not possible wherever we have fourth one is the options yes all options having fourth one except a i can go with a i can go with a now you have a doubt sir uh, one one means yes sir this uh, half and one empty one empty yes this three possible one is okay sir third one also this one this empty this empty okay third one possible sir one among the opposite pairs this one this one this one or this one this one this one one and three okay what is the problem with second one sir what is the problem with second one if you want second one okay one dot one empty box here one should be this one right one should be this one among these two one should come dot two square boxes won't come empty empty one see this is yes okay that empty one may be here this one not possible this should not be shown here among these two one okay this is okay this is okay but this one should be one among this i hope you got the clarity why two is eliminated maybe this question okay four eliminated because of that i go with option a okay fine but second one why not consider also try to understand okay two this one fine this one this one, one among this only we have to get the combination second one correct second one correct 
one sorry second one wrong this is okay one dot one among this should come and one among the empty box okay one dot square with one dot and one face should be like okay empty one face should be like one among the opposite if that is the case okay fine that's uh, allowed this is empty this is off this is okay fine but here two empty is not allowed not allowed Let's see the third one in the same fashion. Now, which among the options is correct? Options are given. You just work on it. Is it 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 1? I hope no need to think about first one. First one is damn sure correct because all options first one is shown. Every option first one is there. So why we need to think much? Right. Next one. If you see, yeah, we have six sides. Three empty boxes. Three empty boxes. That two empty, empty opposite. Dot and circle opposite. This dot inside and circle. This is opposite. And middle one. This empty slot. And the other one. Yeah. Here, if you join all the four, half one side. Okay. One part will be empty. Two parts will be rectangle. Or this uh, shaded part with triangles. And one part will be like this. So this slot, I can say is like this this slot yeah this one is filled in this slot two triangles or three triangles inside like that shape one slot is empty remaining two slots are occupied by this here this slot is empty consider and this slots are occupied by that shade like this we have to get okay now fine good this shape is not at all possible fourth one is wrong fourth one wherever it is there it's not possible this is not possible First one, yeah, first one, how it is correct, sir. First one, you observe, dot here, empty one, and this one is possible. Dot, empty, and this one, okay, possible. Second one, now we have to think about second one. Second one, empty, empty, and circle. Yeah, empty, empty, and circle, possibility is there. Empty, empty, circle, second one, correct. This is empty, this is empty, this is circle, correct. Next one, dot, empty empty is also correct one two and three is correct only issue with the fourth one you just observe three what about three what is the issue with three when you have a dot remaining two empty boxes it's possible three also possible here one two and three correct fourth one only issue fourth one only issue yes you have two empty and this circle are uh, two empty and this one with dot possibility is there so one two and three possible but we cannot go with the fourth one you just try to check this question option b previous one a but for the third one it's b is the answer my dear friends right now let's see about the next question after this we'll move for the other scenario this one after this we'll go for the other topics in unfolded one, this model we covered and with empty boxes now we are adding that. You see this one? These two are opposite, right? First one wrong, third one wrong. First one, third one not available only in option B. First one, third one eliminated. First one, third one, eliminated. Now we have a doubt. Why four is eliminated also, understand. Four is eliminated also, you try to understand. So one full shaded square. Other one is half shaded square. Those are opposite. Dot and this empty box are opposite. Two empty boxes are opposite. Now, if this dot is there, one empty allowed, one among this should come. Either full shaded square box or half shaded square box should come. But here, one dot, two empty, whether this empty or this empty, this is allowed. This one opposite, not possible. These two allowed means two opposite, not allowed in one diagram. So why he eliminated that fourth one also try to think about. It's okay, fine, we got the answer, good. But why we eliminated that fourth one, you just try to think about it one by difference, right? So here option D, option D, somebody mentioned option A, no, you just try to think about this. New questions, my dear friends. Okay, today what we discussed related to that cubes and dice unfolded concept. 
okay this is regarding empty slot mt few slots are given mt right so now how to handle that mt scenario right see our discussion is opposite all those is work out same thing nothing changed now let's see about the next question so before going for this first four questions discussion i hope you are done with that cubes and i we already discussed in this thesis preparation video is already shared you just try to complete that cubes and dice two models video is discussed you complete that right now let's see about this question my dear friends monthly expenses in a house are partially fixed and partially multiple of the number of boarders it is rupees 78660 if you have 68 it's not boarders boarders if we have 62 people in the house the expense is 78660 if you have 75 people we have a 94884884 so if it is 80 what is the number of what is the total monthly expenses they are asking right so fine now let's see about a number of people if number of people is 62 in the house the expense is 78660 75 means 94000 884 if it is 80 what should be your expenses right now listen this is partially fixed right so monthly expenses are partially fixed and partially vary with number of people n is number of people n is nothing but number of people here a and b are consonants because a is fixed a and b are consonants to find a and b only they given two data here m is nothing but monthly expenses here it's like two equations two unknowns we have to solve m is monthly expenses a and b are consonants or constant sorry a and b are constants right now here they given m is nothing but 78660 if number of people in the house is 62 and it is 94884 if number of people is 75 using these two we have to find a and b values once you know a and b value then we can find m is a plus b n we'll substitute n value 80 everyone try what is the value of a and b here yes b value my dear friends so if you just observe 94884 minus 78660 we got it like 16224 it should be divided by 13 difference here is 13 divided by 13 we got 1248 so as per this we got b value 1248 1248 now you substitute in expression a or b in equation a or b i'll substitute in equation a We will get seventy-seven thousand three seventy-six sixty-two into thousand two forty-eight is seventy-seven thousand three seventy-six, and we have to subtract this value from seventy-eight thousand six sixty. We will get thousand two eighty-four is the A value. A is this, B is this one, my dear friends. A and B value we got it now. Now let's go ahead with the next one. So M is now thousand two eighty-four plus N into 1248 right now n is nothing but 80 you have to take n value 80 now substitute that n value 80 what is m is nothing but 1284 plus n into 80 into 1248 right so which option is suitable we have to end with 4 so three options are ending with 4 now we need to do that all calculation so multiply so it's 1284 fine now here zero ending with now multiplying with 8 it's simple here we have 4 32 plus 6 is 33 so 96 and 3 we got 99840 so here zero four we got okay 8 plus 4 is 12 so had to end with 24 at the end okay ending with 24 we have only one option i am not doing the entire calculations we are checking the answer should end with 24 when you add first 4 plus 
four, eight plus four, twelve. Something else will come. Ending with twenty-four, only one option available for us. So it's nothing but option B. Likewise, we can use yes, excellent option B is correct. Right. This is one method. The other method, what you can do, as it is like linear. This is linear expression. What is the other way you can do this? Is for sixty-two, we have seventy-eight thousand six sixty, right? And here for seventy-five, we have ninety-four thousand eight eighty-four. This is linear equation. Linear equation. A plus B and constant and varying with n linear. We can say. Now here, if you observe, if this is n is increased, this is m, this is n. If n is increased by thirteen, we know this is increased by seventeen thousand, right? So we, let's see that value. Okay, what is that? Seventy-seven thousand three seventy-six, right? Yeah, we have one moment. The value what we have right now, we need to subtract seventy eight thousand six sixty ninety four thousand eight eighty four. Okay, so subtract this ninety four thousand eight eighty four minus seventy three thousand eight sixty seventy eight thousand six sixty. Right. So if you see that subtraction here, we have four, we have two, here two ninety four minus seventy eight. Is nothing but sixteen, right? So the yes, n is increased by thirteen. This is increased by sixteen thousand two twenty four. Next one, we need eighty means n is increased by five. What is this increase for thirteen? If you have sixteen thousand two twenty four, for thirteen if you have sixteen thousand two twenty four increase, for five how much increase is there? So thirteen once, one time here thirty two means. Two times twenty six, sixty two is there. Sixty two, four times fifty two, one not four. One is two forty eight. Five means we should multiply this with five. We got here two forty, so six thousand two forty. I need to add six thousand two forty here. If you add six thousand two forty directly, you will get the answer. Last two see same answer you are going to get. This is four eight plus four twelve, and we have eleven all together. If you just calculate, okay, one lakh. One thousand one twenty-four will come. One lakh one thousand one twenty-four will be added. So that is what. If this is increased, and how this is increased? N is increased. M is increased. So this for eighty, we have to get one lakh one thousand one twenty-four. There are different methods to solve. One is like two equations forming, or else you can use that linear approach. How this is increased? How the next one increased? Or respected one you can consider right now see the next question related to geometry areas and volumes menstruation all coordinate geometry everything all together they can expect questions they said total surface area of solid hemisphere for sphere total surface area is 4 pi r square Whereas for hemisphere it's three pi r square. It's three pi r square. Total surface area for sphere is four pi r square. You can recall for hemisphere is nothing but three pi r square. The three pi r square is seventy five times area of circle whose diameter is six centimeters. When you know diameter. Radius is nothing but three, so we can say pi into three square, right? So diameter is six, indicates radius is three, right? Now we have to calculate radius of hemisphere, right? So we have everything here. We just try to calculate. We have three ones, three twenty-five times pi and pi cancel. So when you do r here, five into three, fifteen will come. Twenty-five square root is five. Three square square root of that is three. We got R value 15 centimeters. 
solid hemisphere is given okay total surface area means 3 pi r square for that not 2 pi r square a lot of people have a wrong perception that for sphere 4 pi r square so for hemisphere 3 pi r square no you can recall for circle i said already perimeter in two dimensional how you are calculating the same impact will be there in three dimensional surface area perimeter for circle or circumference is 2 pi r whereas for semicircle it's not pi r it is not pi r pi r plus 2 r right this is circle if this is only this part pi r but semicircle means this one along with this we have this so pi r plus 2 r in two dimensional i am speaking about so that is the impact don't think this 2r is there this is pi r part this is 2r part is there so pi r plus 2r will come okay perimeter in two dimensional the same way you should calculate in three dimensional surface area now see this seventh one similar question we discussed in previous session together 12 days a is 10 days less than B. Similar question we discussed. A and B together 12 days. A is 10 days less than B. If B is K days, A is K minus 10. Is everyone solved? How to do this question? I'm just giving the data here. Now they're asking B alone or A alone. B alone means you need K value. B alone in the sense you need to find K value. Let's everyone try to solve. This is the fill the blank right question. So you just try to solve this one, my dear friends. In previous session, we discussed questions related to this. We're given with one trick like this. A can complete the work in X days. B can complete the work in Y days. A and B together, they can complete the work in X, Y upon X plus Y days. Using this shortcut, we solve that question. You just try. Yes, some of you already done with the question. Good to see. No, it's not like addition subtraction here. It's not A plus B adding this one. It's not addition subtraction. I hope you know that. We can't add the timings. In time and work, don't add the timings. Don't subtract the timings directly. Here, if it is adding X plus Y should come, but it is X Y upon X plus Y, right? So a tool is nothing but K into K minus 10 divided by K plus K minus 10 means 2K minus 10. Now cross multiplying will get a quadratic equation k square minus 10k a 24k minus 120 this will go to this side k square minus 34k plus 120 equal to 0 120 can be written as minus 30 into minus 4 which is 120 and here minus 30 minus 4 minus 34 satisfied now k will be 30 or 4 both values both positive values came but my dear friends Mathematically, we got 2, but as per the situation, 4 is not correct. So why you are eliminating 4, both positive, right? K minus 10. K minus 10 is not correct, right? Negative, work completed in minus 6 days, minus 7 days is not accepted. So we should go with K value 30. B alone can complete the work in 30 days. A alone 20 days. Together, they can do it in 12 days. This is how we should solve Right. It's not 11. Some people mentioned 11. It's not addition, subtraction. In previous session also, we discussed similar question approach. Time and work. Next question, this is also related to time and work. 10 men can complete the work in 8 days. 10 women can complete the work in 12 days to do the same work. Now, if you have 3 men and 6 women, how many days work is going to be completed? This question 
we can play some small trick and we can solve this question very easy way see this a small trick like 10 men in 8 days 10 men can complete the work in 8 days i can modify this statement i can also say 8 men can complete the work in 10 days we can swap this if you have 10 men it will take 8 days when you have less people more time taken more people less time less people more time we can swap no issue similarly 10 women 10 women can complete the work 10 women can complete the work in 12 days we can swap it and i can also say 12 women can complete the work in 10 days sir then if you do swapping like this what's the advantage here you can see one trick eight men equal to two women capacity eight men what are the job they can do that's done by two women because both can complete the work in 10 days eight men can complete the work in 10 days two women can complete the work in 10 days so eight men is nothing but equal to 12 women then four men equal to six women this is what see very important they said in question six women that can be replaced by four men now i can replace six women with four men now all together three men and four men means seven men how many ways to do how many days they can complete so not how many ways how many days they can complete the work if you have seven men how many days to complete the work i change this entire question men and women to only men okay 10 men can complete, I again explain, 10 men can complete the work in 8 days. I can say 8 men can complete the work in 10 days, nothing wrong. 10 women can complete the work in 12 days, we can swap and I can say 12 women can complete the work in 10 days. Now 8 men and 12 women both are equal. And in fact 4 men divide by 2, 4 men equal to 6 women. So why you are concentrating on 6 women? Here in question we have 6 women, that 6 women can be replaced with 4 men. Now 3 men and six women what are they mentioned three men under six women now it's like only three seven men i know eight men can complete the work in 10 days seven men will take more time it's a mixed fraction value they given in the options yeah seven men how many days means inverse relationship or you can use that chain rule you can use chain rule m1 d1 h1 not given e1 not there w1 not there same work they are doing m1 d1 equal to m2 d2 approach chain rule m1 d1 h1 e1 with respect to w1 m1 this part here h is not given efficiency not discussed okay among this which is available is m1 d so we are taking only m1 d part only we are taking m1 d part here so that one we can substitute right so now eight men 10 days here seven men how many days i agree this is we got like 80 by 7 which can be written as 11 3 by 7 is yes, options they given like this only mixed fraction 80 by 7 it's 11 3 by 7 days 11 3 by 7 days excellent question this is the way we solved in a different style it's not like we didn't found any equations nothing here you just try to check Okay, if you have any doubts, please mention in the chat box. Yeah, see this approach. We have not formed any equation, nothing. We just modified the given data. Okay, slight changes we did. And now we got this simple way of solving this question. Right. Let's see the next one, my dear friends. Data interpretation. And previous session, we discussed one similar question. 125% more than like that. Now they said B is 40% more than that by A. In which month? They given options like January, sorry, June, July, August, September. So in which month B is 40% more than that of A? Data interpretation related question. B is 40% more than A means if A is 100, B is 140. The value should be 5 is to 7 ratio. The value should 25 is 27. So A and B value should be like 5 is to 7. In June month, A and B is 8 is to 9. 80 and 90, 80 is to 9. It's August month, right? In August, we have 
50 and 70, which is 5 is to 7. So answer is August. In June month, in June month, we have 8 is to 9. But in August, we got that. 50 and 70, 5 is to 7. August month, excellent. Later entry 213, IT 236. Good. See the next question. Very good. 253 from IT. See the next one, my dear friends. Yeah, when diagrams, we said already this type of question. The diagram is drawn after surveying 150 persons in a population of 12,000. So here, Okay, in, in, in population of 12,000, you surveyed 150 persons. Here we are taking approximation of into 80. 150 in, 15 into 80 is 120. 150 means 1200. We have to do into 80 for your answer. What are the answer you got for that do into 80? Why, sir? See, here they approximate. They taken only 150 people survey among 12,000. Now you are mapping this data for the entire. That's what this... Uh, maybe that uh, political surveys also in one constituency we have crores of people or lakhs of people they'll do survey for the few people and they'll map data for the entire they do into into factor multiplication factor they'll apply now here at least to two programs at least means greater than greater than or equal to two programs so 24 16 4 and 10 so greater than or equal to two programs how many people are watching is nothing but 24 plus 4 plus 16 plus 10. 40, 50, 54 is there. Now, you were not done with that. So we have to do into 80. If you want to get that, we have to do 54 into 80. Which is 4,320. Option A, 54 into 80, which is 4,000. Right? Excellent, my dear friends. Option A is correct. Now, here also same question. Watch news is only. How many people are watching only news? Only news is how many? And that same factor is here. We have 150, they mapped for 12,000. 150, they mapped for 12,000 means we have to use that factor into 80. Same diagram, two questions they asked. Multiply with 80, into 80 factor we have to apply. So what's the answer? Only news, watching news, only watching news is 36. So 36 into 80, if you do, we got 2,880. We have 0, 8, 4. We have 24 along with that 4, 28, 2,880. Option D is correct, right? Excellent, my dear friends. Now again, when diagram related, but in exam point of view, don't expect this, uh, okay, where they one which we suggested this is Indian like that. This is already given fine in now. But in exam, don't expect. You need to consider in your mind circle is Indian. Okay. This is question on screen. They don't give that which one is for what. Triangle, Russian, rectangle, Spanish. That they mentioned the question. But they don't mark it here. This will be empty here for the easy explanation point of view. I marked everything. But in exam, don't expect that. Now question. American and Russia. American, that square box, Russian, triangle, intersection. American and Russian intersection, I hope only 8 is there. Option B, right. That's the only intersection part we have. Good. Let's see the next one. Data sufficiency. Data sufficiency questions, generally they are giving reasoning, but here any topic will come into picture. Data sufficiency means it may be any topic. To answer the question, which statement is required? 
Here they given already some data like ratio of fee of two different schools is two is to two point five. Two is to two point five is not generally correct. We do into two. It's four is to five. It should be integer generally. Ratio should be given in terms of integer. They given two is to two point five means four is to five. We can take. You do into two. It should be like an integer. Yeah, four is to five is the two schools. School one and school two fees. Okay, so fees of school one. F one, F two will write. Fees of school two. Okay, what would be the fees of the second school if discounts of twenty five percent and thirty five percent are given on the both schools respectively? In this school, twenty five percent discount respectively. Next school, thirty five percent is given. Now the question is, what would be the fees of the second school? Second school fees is what? What is the fees of the second school? They are asking. Now generally, what you have to do first statement one alone. Statement two alone. Both we had to try. Don't uh, stop with statement one alone or statement two alone. <coughs> one moment. Yeah. You don't try to stop with statement one alone. <clears throat> okay, try for statement one. Both alone you have to do because they give one of the options like either one of this, either alone, either of the statements alone is sufficient. Either of the statements alone is sufficient. Like that also they give series either one or two. So alone we have to try. If alone not possible, then we have to go for together. Statement one alone, statement two alone not possible. Then we have to go for together. Now here, what they given? <clears throat> discount on the second school. Second school, how much discount is there? Eight thousand seven fifty. The discount is thirty five percent. So thirty five. As using statement one alone. This is statement one. Alone. This is statement two. It's not like S one S two. We may think about school one, school two. So as per statement one alone, thirty five percent of the second school is eight thousand seven fifty. They given. Yeah. From this, I can find. What is F two? Yeah. What is the value they don't want? They are not asking what is that exact value, whether you are able to find it or not. Yes. If you are able to find, okay, this is actually twenty five thousand. If you solve, we'll get fine. No problem. Right. So now, let's see about yeah something. Okay, what are the value? It might be. Don't worry. F two. You are able to find it. When again, you may have a discussion regarding. So how we got that answer? All it's actually if you try, we'll get twenty-five. Okay, one percent is twenty-five. We'll get twenty-five thousand if we can try later. Okay, statement one alone I can able to solve, but don't stop there. Try statement two alone as well. Is it possible or not? What statement two alone? Difference between the discounts on the two schools is three thousand seven fifty. Means twenty-five uh, percent on school one, and thirty-five percent on school two. This difference is given as three thousand seven fifty. Okay. Now statement two alone, you are not combined. Don't take this information. So this is eight thousand seven fifty. They are given. Don't take that statement one information. Using statement two alone, you are not able to find because I don't know this value. If I know this value, I can find F two. I want F two, right? I want F one discount. F one. School fees are F two. What is the discount? Then I can do F two. I am not able to find out here. F two. I am not able to find using statement two alone. So now don't go for two. Because already one alone done. Alone, if you are possible, one alone or two alone, if it is possible, no need to go for two. Whether I can say statement one alone is sufficient. Statement one alone is sufficient to answer this question. So guys are understanding this. statement one alone we are able to solve this question clear right one alone two alone both alone you try then only go for together don't go for together directly now this is also data sufficiency related previous question data sufficiency related
Sumit is five years younger than Amit. What is the age of Sumit? They're asking. Okay, Sumit is five years younger than younger than Amit. Compared to Amit, Sumit is five years younger. Statement one alone. I am trying. Statement one alone. And Amit is twice the Pratik age. So if you know Pratik age, then Amit age, Amit age, then from that we can go. Statement one alone. I am not able to solve. Then what you have to do? Don't go for two together directly. Now think about statement two alone. Two alone also not possible. Then go for two together. What statement two alone? I want Sumit, right? Sumit is nowhere in the statement two. In statement two, Ravi age is twenty-two. Whose means this is? Here, who whose means the statement is the immediate one. This Sumit only. Who whose they use? What are followed relates to these two persons only, right? Ravi age is twenty-two. Pratik is ten years older than that. Pratik age is thirty-two. So using statement one alone, two alone, not possible. Then together. Sometimes together also not sufficient. Now we are trying together. But together we can do. As you know, Pratik Amit will be twice Pratik, which is sixty-four. Then Sumit will be five years younger than that, which is fifty-nine. Yeah, we are able to find the Sumit age. We are able to find the Sumit age. Right. So, but together, not alone. Alone, not possible. One alone, two alone, no. Together is sufficient. If together also not possible, we have to say together not sufficient. Right. Excellent, my dear friends. Now see the next one. Syllogism. Questions related to syllogism. All clothes are shirts. All shirts are pants. All coats are pants. Then which among the options is correct? When you have either or in the options, we need to hold on and check. Don't decide with only one diagram. Okay. Either or is there, right? So all clothes are shirts. All shirts are pants. All coats are. This is cloth. C L. All coats are pants. So C O. This is also correct. This is one thing. Or all clothes. All clothes are shirts. All clothes are. All shirts are pants. All coats are pants. This may be linked also. <coughs> you can draw different diagrams. You can draw different diagrams. All clothes are shirts. All coats are pants. Now, if you see this, when either are is there, you have to look into that portion. One and four they mentioned either are or one and two. That you have to be careful. Third one first you decide. Some pants or clothes is correct in everywhere. If you see third statement, some part of this is entire pants. A part of that is clothes. So third one is damn sure correct. Here some pants, a part of that is clothes. Third one is damn sure correct. Now here third one is damn sure correct. So everywhere third one correct. So third one must and should be there in the options. It's not A. It's not B and C. It might be D or it might be A. Now when either are is there, hold on. Either are means here what they said. Either one or four follow. Listen. What is the meaning? Either are in general. The first is correct. See, both not true at a time. Either are is there means if either are is there, both true at a time is not possible. This is not possible. Both false at a time is not possible. Then it is not either are. Okay, I have to eliminate either are if both are true in one diagram. I mean to say, if one and four both true in one diagram, you try all the way. I given three diagrams here. In any diagram, one and four both are true. Either are eliminate. In any diagram, one and four both are fail. Either are eliminate. But what happen? You know, when either are will come, you know, first one true. At that case, fourth one wrong. And in fourth one true, and first one wrong. Both should happen. This should happen, and this should happen. Both should happen. In one among the diagrams, at least, then only either are will come true. I'll show you the scenario here. This is excellent question. Now see this here. First diagram. 
no cloth is yes conclusion 1 is true 4 is false cloth and cot not connected here first one false fourth one true see both not true at a time both not false at a time whereas in this diagram first one true fourth one false yes among one and four one of uh, one is true among one and four okay we have one of that is true that's why either or both not true at a time both not false at a time this is either or either or you need to understand we discussed during your summer session syllogism in depth when you will get either or why you have to go ahead with that in depth we discussed now again you just try to focus on that area okay both not to when there is either or you just hold on and check for that sir here fourth one wrong directly eliminating fourth one here first one wrong directly eliminating first one option d is correct is not the correct procedure then either or never exist then why either or is given one of the options you see everywhere either or will be there when either or is there hold on for which one either or is given you check that is both true at a time is both false at a time then either or not possible for that okay but sir first one true here fourth one false in other diagram fourth one true first one false if this scenario exists that's what either either one or four is true any diagram you try okay one or four one among that is true not both true at a time not both false at a time that's the beauty in either eye now 16th question analogy analogy first one there is some this is two dots this is the first page there is some link happen what should happen for the second page analogy related So what happened entire right side came to left side shaded become unshaded now here entire right side should come to left side this is not shaded this should come to shade part okay so we need rectangle and this is the one option right so we can say it's c option first pair what is the logic there we have to apply the same thing for the second pair wrong term wrong term this is a series one term is wrong in previous session also we discussed one question one term is wrong so when they are given series like this you have to take first term separately second one separately third one separately like that we can understand or analyze now if we take first term separately a c f j o and u this is 1 3 2 gap next 3 gap next 4 gap next 5 gap next 6 gap with first term okay first letter there is no issue now let's see about third letter c e h m q w <coughs> here this is 3 5 2 gap 3 gap now 13 not 4 gap 5 gap came so here we have a problem here instead of m we require l 4 gap required here 2 here you just observe 2 3 4 5 6 Here after two, this is three. Here four required means this should be twelve. M should be replaced as L. What is the wrong term? Is J P M? It should be L. Then it is four, five, six will come. So M is the problem there. Instead of J P M, we require J P L. P we don't decide it. Instead of M, we require L. Now, eighteenth one again related that Venn diagram. Now, let me see how many of you will give the answer. In Venn diagram, there are different models, but in previous papers, they are giving the diagram already in the question, like this. Only history, only English, history and English. All you can see, history and history and economics, but not geography. All those are available. Now, 
they are asking regarding who got distinction only in two subjects <coughs> out of 300 what percentage so total 320 among that numerator only two subjects into 100 we have to do only two how many people are there this 20 this 12 and 18 this is only right 48 okay but percentage they are asking right so out of the total we have to convert they are asking related to percentage so out of the total what is that we have to calculate the numerator is nothing but 48 with respect to 32 Uh, three twelve, yeah, four eighty with respect to thirty two. This is percentage only four eighty percent divided by thirty two, which is nothing but fifteen. Option D is correct, fifteen. Right. Now, see this nineteenth question. Today also we discussed few set of questions in this fashion. Now. Percentage opposite is what? For this one, what is opposite? Percentage opposite is what? Yeah. Alternate sides are opposite, so it's option B, right? Got it. Percentage and A are opposite. What happened? Are you there, dear? Easy question. I think very few responses. It seems we know alternate sides are opposite, right? So we discussed, right? Today also we discussed four next level questions compared to this. Okay. Now see the next one. Mean deviation. Now see, sir, you didn't discuss mean deviation. Yeah. What is the mean deviation of the data? So, if you want to do that, first calculate mean, my dear friend, sir. You want to know mean deviation means this is actually mean for the deviation. First calculate what is the mean. If you want to calculate the mean, we need to do sum of all this. We have around ten terms. Sum of all this, if we calculate, eight, nine, seventeen, twenty-nine, forty-four, sixty, eighty, one not four. Okay, one not four and thirty. We have one thirty-four. Along with this, sixty-six. We have two hundred, right? Two hundred upon ten means, which is nothing but twenty. Mean is nothing but twenty. Now listen, deviation is nothing but okay. First term, how it's deviated with the mean? Eight. All we have to compare with respect to twenty. How each term is deviated? So first term deviated by twelve. Next one eleven. Deviation difference. Don't dif difference should be in positive. Deviation means that. Deviation for first one is twelve, next one is eleven, next one it's deviated eight, next one is five, next one is four, next one zero, next one four, ten, twelve and fourteen. These are the deviation. Deviation. Deviation means how you are differed from the mean. From mean, how much distance you are? Deviation is nothing but how much distance from the mean. right now mean for the deviation means adding all that divided by 10 numbers is there divide by 10 mean for the deviation you have a deviation value calculate mean for that right so calculate deviation is given mean for that means again sum of those divided by 10 right so it's simple mean deviation this is a all previous set of questions we are discussing okay now mean for this is nothing but mean deviation if you add all this hope you got 80 right divided by 10 which is nothing but 8 adding all this we got 80 Okay, mean deviation means yes. First, we have to calculate the deviation. Deviation in the sense from the mean, from the origin, from the with respect to that reference point, how much you are deviated. 
okay so that all deviations then for that mean we have to calculate that's what mean deviation simple right now profit and loss related question profit and loss related question okay, this is the last question for today an item was sold at a profit of 12 percent after giving a discount of 12.5 percent on the list price what would be the gain or loss percentage if discount is 25 percent okay see they are giving 12.5 percent discount still they are getting 12 percent profit right so you have cost to price list to price selling price profit and loss here discount is here yeah when you give 12.5 percent discount still they are getting 12 percent profit they mentioned right now suppose you consider labeled price is 100 when you give 12.5 percent discount 12.5 rupees are gone out of 100 selling price is 87.5 in this case you have 12 percent profit in the sense sp is 112 percent of cp sp is 87.5 112 percent means 112 divided by 100 we can write as 1.12 also 112 percent 112 divided by 100 1.12 now dividing this we have to calculate the cp we have to get cp what is the value of cp my dear friends it's close to 8.5 or 8.4 because into 8 into 8 will give 8 point okay Fine, into 80 will give 89.6. It's less than 80 only. It's less than 80 because if we do into 8 itself, we got 8.96. Means okay, it's into 80 means 89.6. We have to get less than 80, maybe more than around 77. You are 78.125. Okay, so people are saying it's 78.125, sir. Fine, let it be. Now, now what they said, cost price is 78.125. Labeled price is 100. Now they are asking you to give 25 percent discount. If you give 25 percent discount, you will enter into loss. The selling price is 75 now, right? You have to give 25 rupees discount, 75. You have a loss. How much loss are 3.125? But in terms of percentage, we have to divide with respect to cost price only. Profit or loss is calculated on cost price. 78.125 into 100. <coughs> so, this one we have to calculate, my dear friend. So, it's approximately how much? If this is 75, this is 3 also, we should get less than 4 4% 4 losses. Uh, we have to go close to 4%. I am guessing like this is 3 once, 3 25 times. It's less than 25, it's 4. Around Close to 4% we have to get. Fine. So done. So around 4% we have to get. Okay. So this is, yeah, you do that calculation. That's not a big worry for you. So you just handle this calculation. It's into 4. Close to that we will get approximately 4%. Loss we know. It's not 2.5 for sure. Because if this is 325 times, 100 by 25 is 4. Right. Okay, now 